Hello there, buddies. According to FDA estimates, total deer meat production in the United States is around 10,000 tons per year. Every year, around 1.5 million deers are harvested for their antlers. So how do farmers in the United States grow millions of deers? In this video, we will discuss the answer. Caring for deers in a closed farm with an outdoor garden requires knowledge, discipline, and dedication. Ranchers must follow a series of important principles to ensure good growth and development for deers. Since the deers are young, the farm owners will let them stay on the farm regularly to take care of their health. They will be monitored and provided with a variety of nutritional foods to support their development to mature quickly. Once they are strong enough to go outside, they will be released into outdoor areas so they can acclimate to nature. Food is the primary factor in deer caring. Deers are herbivores, so providing green food, concentrates and mineral foods properly is very important. Deers mostly consume green foods such as grass, leaves, and flowers. The majority of deer's diet is grass, which must be mowed short and supplied on a regular basis to guarantee appropriate food intake. Farmers can produce plants such as jackfruit leaves, cassava leaves, and maize leaves to offer vitamins and minerals to deers. Flowers supplies deers with sugar and fiber, and farmers may cultivate flowers like sunflowers and chrysanthemum to provide for deers. In addition to forage, Concentrates are also important for deer's growth. Concentrates provide energy and essential nutrients. Corn, rice, and beans are common sources of concentrate for deers. Nowadays, pellet deer food is available, so cooking starch for deer is limited. Mineral feed is an essential aspect of a deer's diet since it contains minerals that are essential for health. Minerals are commonly obtained through salt and rock licks. Deer requires sodium and chloride, which may be supplied in the form of table salt or licking ice. Water is an essential aspect of a deer's nutrition. Deer requires access to clean water for drinking and bathing. Drinking water should be changed on a frequent basis to guarantee its freshness and avoid contamination. This is especially true in hot, dry conditions. Hygiene is an indispensable element in deer caring. Barns and outdoor gardens need to be cleaned regularly 
to prevent the spread of diseases. The barn needs to be swept daily and periodically cleaned with disinfectant. Outdoor gardens also need to be kept clean with weeding, waste collection and periodic cleaning with disinfectants. Regular health checkups and quick treatment of diseases are critical for deer health protection. Ringworm, diarrhea, respiratory illnesses, and many other illnesses that are common in deers. Regular monitoring of deer health and consultation with the veterinarian are required to prevent deers from diseases and impairment. Caring for deer in a confined farm environment with an outside garden not only assures the deer's health but also benefits the breeder and the natural environment. Farmers may attain the ideal mix of health and growth for their deer herds with care and proper understanding. According to the U.S. Forest Service, meat deer output in the U.S. is expected to reach 1.2 million in 2022, a 5% decrease from 2021. Male deer production accounts for over 60% whereas female deer production accounts for roughly 40%. Due to market competition from beef and pork, shooting and eating deer meat has progressively reduced. Despite this, Deer meat is still popular among many Americans. Deer meat is regarded as nutritious meat since it contains a lot of protein, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals that the body needs. It is one of the most costly and difficult to locate dishes. Current deer farms are highly costly and wild deer numbers are also declining owing to pollution. These farms mostly produce deer antlers. When the deer's huge antlers mature, they will commence antler harvesting. The farm owner will provide anesthetic to begin the harvesting operation. Deers will be harvested using shocking equipment. After being anesthetized, the farm owner will bring it into the farm to begin the velvet gathering procedure. First, they will inspect the antlers and the sections that need to be taken. They will next blindfold a deer so that it does not feel terrified and falls asleep. This work will be carried out using a sophisticated cutting machine. The assistants will securely hold the deer's horn for the farm owner to cut. They have been injected with medication, so they're not in agony. Each horn is harvested individually. The farm owner will apply a coating of medication to the wound to aid in its healing.
the deer will subsequently be injected with extra nutrients to encourage rapid healing. According to the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, deer antler harvests in the United States have expanded dramatically in recent years. The antler harvest in the United States will be around 1,200 metric tons in 2022, up to 20% from 2021. Antler consumption in the United States is also on the rise. An estimated 1 million Americans will ingest deer antlers by 2022. Deer antler consumption in the United States is being pushed by greater knowledge of the possible health advantages of deer antlers. And finally, the real question is, what do you think about these deer antlers? Feel free to share all your comments and opinions down below in the comment section. And lastly, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to stay updated with our upcoming videos. See you in the next video. With only 2.7 million acres of land used for agriculture, about 330 times less than the United States, Switzerland has a lot of famous agricultural products such as cider, honey, and milk, making up only about 0.7% of the country's GDP. The impact of agriculture on Switzerland economy is relatively modest when compared to industries in rich countries such as financial services, pharmaceutical measures, or watchmakings. When a Swiss person tells you about the agriculture in their country, they will most likely talk about vineyards that runs along hillsides, and lake horses or herds of cattle grazing in the high mountains. These are the features that play an important role in creating the charm and beautiful settings in the agricultural tradition. In Switzerland, the cattle is the most abundant in numbers. They're widely raised in farms, presented in most parts of the country. Alpine grasslands in Switzerland are vastly often include rugged mountains to rain before farmers here made cattle wearing bells around their neck to help farmers to locate them more easily, even if they were hidden in the mountains. At the beginning of 2023, there were about 1.4 million cattle raised in Switzerland and they were distributed on more than 11,000 different farms, having most of them on small-scale family-owned farms. In addition to extracting beef and dairy, cattle grazing and using bells for them is also part of the Swiss folklore and this adds charm to the landscape of this beautiful country. During the late times of September and early October, when the climate and the mountains changes and gradually gets colder, they would move their flocks from high mountains down to the village of the lower ground to avoid the cold. In Switzerland, moving cattle from high mountains to lower areas is a traditional event that takes place every year and attracts many visitors who want to experience it.
will be decorated with flowers, from hat markers and traditional cowbells that makes melodious sound. The moving cows contribute to the festival atmosphere. Swiss agricultural is not only famous for its herds of cow grazing in the mountains of Ohio, but is also known for the vineyards that runs along the side hills, creating an extremely beautiful landscape. Early spring is usually the time when Swiss farmers start planting new vineyards. Grapes are often grown in the steep slopes so most of the work is done by manual labor. There are currently around 14,700 vineyards in Switzerland, and these vineyards are concentrated mainly in the German-speaking and French-speaking cantons. Vineyards with difficult terrain Usually helicopters will be used to spray pesticides instead of other methods. Late September to early October is usually the time when grapes are harvested in most Swiss vineyards. At this point, thousands of workers will be hired to the vineyards to work at the average salary they receive that is about $143 per day. In vineyards with flat terrain, harvesters will be used to pick grapes. After harvesting billions of grapes, they are sent to wineries for production. Although the white wine industry in Switzerland is not as well known as in other countries, countries like Italy or France, due to production restrictions and emphasis on quantity over quality, Swiss wines have always been considered rare and exclusive, making them highly sought after by enthusiasts and collectors. Have you ever drank Swiss wine? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. In addition to apple grapes, which is also a famous fruit when it comes to the Swiss agriculture. And aside from eating it fresh, apples in Switzerland are also used to produce apple juice and cider. When these apples are sufficiently mature and conditioned for harvesting, a kind of machine will be used to remove all the apples from the tree. Farmers will use this machine to pick up millions of apples and deliver them to apple juice factories. Inside and outside is what happens at an apple press in Switzerland. Here millions of apples are automatically stored and cleaned. These apples are then crushed to make the juice extraction process easier. So can you believe that the agricultural world pretty much provides food for nearly 8 billion people all over the world? This is the end of our video today, guys. We truly hope that it impacted you positively and it helped you through your journey. If you truly like this video, please don't forget to share specifically with your friends so they can watch it and enjoy it as well. And stay tuned with all of our upcoming videos.